take off. <laughs> that one. Is that bigger or just is a fat, small one? Oh, that's a big one. That is a big tiger. Oh, there he goes. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. The monster. Get him back. Coming up. Northwestern Ontario is the place to go for amazing scenery, tons of wildlife, and great fishing. On today's show, we're in Sunset Country on famous Lake of the Woods. We'll be going through fishing techniques that can be used year-round for five different species of fish. From hard water jigging to early season bass and walleye, even fall pike and muskie using spinner baits and big jerk baits. Today's show covers it all. Stay tuned for great tips, lots of fish, and big fights. Oh, here it comes. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that big laser. Yeah. Ah, huge. Oh, baby. That thing is a monster. Whoa. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I got one. Oh, look at that thing. Ow! Look at those teeth. Oh, there we go. Come and do me. All right. Woo-hoo. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, Whoa. All right. Look at the size of this pet. Real Fishing is sponsored by Chevrolet. Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call real fishing. There are a few places in North America where you can enjoy world-class fishing year-round. Lake of the Woods offers just that. Located in Sunset Country in northwestern Ontario, Lake of the Woods is Ontario's second largest lake and boasts over 14,000 islands and over 100,000 kilometers of shoreline that stretches into Manitoba and Minnesota. There are almost as many different fish species here as there are islands. Smallmouth and largemouth bass, musky, walleye, pike, lake trout, whitefish, perch and panfish are just a selection of what you can catch here on Lake of the Woods. During the winter months, the fishing is exceptional. Last year I was in Bedette, Minnesota at Wigwam Resort to do a little hard water fishing with a group of friends. We set up at the mouth of the Rainy River to try for some of those tasty walleyes using jigging spoons tipped with minnows. Got him, Tom? Well, that one's got some weight to it. Hey, Wayne, they're waving at us way over there. Let's go see what's happening. I think Tom from Wigwam might have some. Okay, let's get them on. Get him okay, or you need a little help. Oh, I'll get him turned up low there. Oh, that looks like a brute. Oh, yeah. Get his head in the hole. Oh, look at that! That's what we came for, huh? Yep. <laughs> What has oh, happened? Oh, Look at the size one. of that walleye. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> owner is privileged. <laughs> well, big one comes through. Nice fish. That's a beauty. That's Get a incredible. photo of that one. Get a picture of that. that well, you know, it, it's funny because Tom has been guiding for a long time, of course, and uh, and uh, he said, well, since you guys only got a half day this morning, let's set up at the mouth of the river, only a couple miles from the lodge. What a monster. And he said we're going to a big fish spot, too. The guy oh, called it. Look at the scales on that. Look at the eye. How'd you catch that? Well, I had uh, the 110 down here. I got the transducer down in there for the ice fishing. And uh, he just come up. I see him about seven feet off the bottom. I reeled up and pumped it twice. And he just come up and just pumped it. So a suspended fish. So watching your graph is very important. Oh, it is. You know, with that 110 on there, that uh, thing just, I mean, they show up like uh, cordwood on there. Well, that is a trophy fish. Yep. What a monster! Tom has certainly paid his dues guiding over the years, and it's only fitting that he catches the biggest fish of the trip. Hey, it's expertise like Tom's that makes the trip worthwhile coming to Wigwam Resort. Coming up next, Bob's on Lake of the Woods to do some early season fishing for bass and walleye. Stay tuned. Look at that. All right. Is it chunky? Sure is. Look at that. Big fat belly. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by FMCC and VoterExam.com. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View. Sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Nearly every sport has an off-season. For anglers, November through December is considered timeout. Because fish are cold-blooded, dropping water temperatures slow them down. In many cases, they can stall out completely. Unfortunately, those big autumn runs are most affected by this changeover period. Eventually, once ice forms and temperatures level out, they acclimatize and resume feeding. Falling temperatures also drive fish into deep holes where they often assemble in staggering numbers. It's frustrating to witness steelhead, whitefish, and other species that refuse to hit. Regardless, there's a way to turn this around. First and foremost, only head out on bright, sunny days. Even in sub-zero weather, sunlight will raise water temperature, and that's the key. An increase of a single degree is enough to activate them. It's like a tonic to the fish. It's also a solid fishing pattern. Keeping with this, our best advice is to sleep in. Plan your trip to be on the water during midday as temperatures peak. With an eye on the weather, it pays to be flexible any time of year. If you head out when the going's good, rather than only when you can, you'll enjoy a winning season that just won't end. Once the ice is off the lake and the temperature starts to rise, the fishing gets even hotter. While most anglers in Ontario are counting down the months until bass opens, here on Lake of the Woods, bass is already open. Actually, bass never completely closes, but the catch and size limits do change. So make sure you check the regulations before heading out. But bass aren't the only fish that put the feed bag on during the spring. Walleye and pike are both very active during this time of year. One of my early season trips to Lake of the Woods was on the 85-foot Race N2 yacht. I'll tell you, this boat was amazing, and the fishing was great too. One day, my brother Wayne and I headed out with the manager of the Grey Sand 2, Brad Dirksen, to fish a windblown rock pile for some early season bass and walleye. Yeah, what have we got? It's coming around to hear one. Right on the point of that little shoal. Staying deep. Stay uh, it might deep. be a nice one? Small most. I think I'm alright. He was he was he was fighting harder than he is. Nice. Decent. Decent. Look at that. Alright. He's chunky. Sure is. Look at that. Big fat belly. That's a good one there. That's what we're talking about. Look at this one here. All right. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, that is a chunk. Oh, you do a little spanking. This might be a walleye, though, I think, Ashley. Go. Head shaker. I'll grab the net. It is a walleye. Is oh, a walleye. yeah, nice walleye. All right. On that last shaky shad uh, of, the, of the color that the smallmouth were hit. Oh, nice walleye. All right. Good one. Thanks. They like that gulp, don't they? He gulped it. All right. Good one. Nice fish. Yeah, too big to eat, right? Too big for lunch, yeah. We'll put them back. Good stuff. Well... I'm going to put a black one on here, and you know what, uh, uh, the great thing about this Lake of the Woods is there are so many species of fish. You know, you cast up shallow, you get the smallmouth, you work a little deeper, you get a walleye. Folks, stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more real fishing after this. Up next, we're fishing spinnerbaits for big pike. Oh, you got him? Oh, that one <laughs> Oh, that's a big one. No way, God! No. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. 
I'm here with Robert Dupel, and Robert's with FNCC and BoaterExam.com. You know, you guys have been instrumental in uh, bringing the PleasureCraft operator card into the works, and it's all across Canada. Robert, let's talk about hypothermia. Well, Bob, as you know, hypothermia is the number one killer for boaters and fishermen. Make sure you're dressed in thick clothing, depending on the weather. And also, if somebody's suffering from hypothermia, don't forget, never give them hot liquids, alcohol, or rub in a rough way. Just a warm blanket or in body heat and get that person back to a doctor real quick. So even in July, say on big water, like even the Great Lakes here, if people are in the water for an extended length of time, their body temperature lowers and that's when it can set in, right? Correct. All right, well, hey, safe boating and, and be sure to play it safe out there. And even today, we got a good chop out there and it's a perfect day to not go out alone. In sunset country, the beautiful scenery and wildlife is abundant, but the other thing that is plentiful here are the lodges that you can stay at. One of the lodges we visited was Totem Lodge on Lake of the Woods. One day I headed out with guide Pete Corky to see if we could find any of those huge pike while chucking spinnerbaits along the shore. Not very big though. <laughs> I'm miniature. Whoa, he's gone. <laughs> I'm miniature. Oh, got him. Oh, that one's <laughs> a little bit bigger. Maybe this one's got a little more. No way, he's gone. No. No, he's swimming towards us. <sighs> is that bigger? Or just is a fat, small one. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big pike. Oh, there he goes. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Get him out. He's going under the boat. Under the grotto. Get him back here. You're not talking. What's going oh, on, Oh, man. Frankie? I'm concentrating a little oh, bit here. This fish is taking me for a full lap of the, the boat. Net. That's a big fish. It's Look taking up. me for a full lap of the boat here. I've never seen you quiet so much. You saw him, didn't you? I saw hey, him, yeah. He's... There it is. Look at it. Oh, yeah. That's a big pipe. The monster. <laughs> that is a nice northern, isn't it? Let me net him for you, I think so. Oh! oh. 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 Sorry about that. It's all right. You're loud. That fish has got... Got some attitude, doesn't it? Look you at the size of that pike. Ready? Oh, yeah. All right, brother. <laughs> Whoa. That's a huge pike. Oh, that fish oh, there is pushing. That fish there is pushing 20 pounds. It's, it's at least high teen. Boy, it busted that spinnerbait up, didn't here, it? Here, I, I got some pliers here. here. Actually, it's not really hooked that bad. Here, put that glove on there so you can grab him. There we are. All right, that way, as many hooks and teeth as you've had in your hand, this Lindy glove is puncture proof, okay? All right. Have you got uh, him? Give it a little twist here. All right. Make sure he's not rehooking himself here. Go ahead, grab a hold of that. Hey, boss, way to go. Look oh. at that. Tip of the tail. The tip of the nose, 38 inches. Let's see, you got right at the tip? Right at the tip. Okay, good one. 38 inches. Look at that. What a horse. Come on. All right, good stuff. Way to go. Nice fight. Thanks. Man, it just nailed that spinnerbait, didn't it? It just busted that spinnerbait right up, didn't it? Hey, are your hands all right? You know, you wore the gloves hey, there. I, no? Everybody, can, everybody should have them for northern well, fishing. This is a fish handling glove, or you can use it for fish clean, but you can actually lip a pipe with that, and it won't puncture this material. It sure was nice all for right. my hands that have been abused over the years. <laughs>
Good stuff. Now that's what coming up to Lake of the Woods is all about. During the fall, my brother Wayne was fishing with Gord Kaiser on Lake of the Woods near Kenora, Ontario, when he hooked into another trophy pike. Let's take a look. Oh, this, oh, this is a beauty, folks. Just a beauty. Gord, they make them big up here in Sunset Country. <laughs> look at that. Well, that's a nice one for sure. Look at that. He's got a humpback, eh? Yeah. Whoa, whoa get away from that motor. No leader. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Don't make me nervous, eh? Okay. Now, how many pounds of... Oh, he's wrapping. He's rolling. Well, we do have a scale here. We do have a scale, win. eh? If and when you get him in, or her in. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice big back, oh, eh, Wayne? Isn't, isn't that, that beautiful? a beautiful broadfish? Gorgeous. That is a beauty. Oh, what a nice... Look at the size. That's a big female. Tripping on the bucket. She ever fat way. It's huge. Whoa! Oh, still. Oh, hold on, hold on, girl. Hold on. You are lucky. <laughs> it's skill, boy. It's skill. <laughs> <laughs> it's called white line special. Hold on. Here. Yeah. See the top here. Now, that's got to be 20 pounds, right? You know, you're getting close there, and just look how fat she is. What a gorgeous look fish. Look at that on that bait. Wow, isn't that a beauty? Now look at the tail. Somebody took a bite out of its tail. Or what you know? got in here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this on. I'll hold it up for a picture. Here it is. Got it? I'll go this side. Okay. Watch your hands. Oh, go on. Look at that. Oh, oh what a beautiful isn't fish. Isn't that a beautiful <laughs> fish? Look at that. Oh, what a beauty. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, George. <laughs> Let me take off the glove. <laughs> and where's your slimy salt? <laughs> yeah, where's the glove of salt? What a great day. Isn't that nice? What a great day. Ooh. When we return, we're going after one of the fiercest freshwater fish out there. We're just coming off of about 60 feet of water there. Hey! Good going, Wayne. Oh. If there had to be one thing Lake of the Woods is known for, it would have to be world-class musky fishing. In the city of Kenora, they even have Husky the Musky, a 40-foot statue that's displayed by the lake. One of the best musky anglers out there is definitely Gord Pizer. My brother Wayne headed out with Gord in the fall to go after some of these aggressive fish using big jerk baits along points and shorelines. We're just said that we've got a good chance of either big musky or a pike. And bang, I threw this thing right on the bank. Look at that, folks. Woohoo! Nice, Wayne. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. First cast guard. Hey, is, I think I saw enough silver to be a muskie. <laughs> Our muskie. It is, eh? It's a muskie, yeah. Hey! Good call, guard. All right, here it comes. Look at this. Get that bait. Good going, Wayne. You got a cradle guard? You want yeah. To... All right. Just comatose. We're just coming off of about 60 feet right. of water there. I was going to say, she's got another jump or two in her, or splash. Uh oh Good going. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get away from that trolling water. Good going, Wayne. Oh, baby. Sounding. There she goes. Oh, beautiful. Beauty, yeah. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from that motor. Don't go there. <laughs> Nice big broad shoulder. She's yeah, a little big. bigger than you think she is. Whoa. Let her go. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, I'll, I'm going to get her this time. No, nope. you need to come back. Okay, why don't you want? bring her this Here, way? No, I'll bring her this way, okay? Here she comes. Got her, Greg? Got her. All right. <laughs> way to go, Wayne. <laughs> what a beautiful, clean fish, eh? Look at that. Now, we'll keep her like this and get these hooks out. All right. And then we'll take a couple of shots. Good going. Right. First cast. Just watching that depth finder coming from about 50 feet and came right over the wall. Came up. And I was telling Wayne, this is where I caught the, the most and big fish, biggest muskie released in Ontario on this spot. About seven, eight years, well, ten years or so. Oh, now. Turn her over there, Glenn? Yeah, it's just caught in the net, so. Oh, I'll try these gloves there. Need to cut the hooks, maybe? I've got cutters. Got cutters? But watch, she doesn't throw now. Watch okay. this. I can, I got her tip by her Actually, tail. Actually, whoops, hold on, Gork. Don't move that fish, because there's only one hook in here. Yeah. That's good. All right, we're out. Okay, let me see here. You got her, right? Mm -hmm. Watch the gills and watch. Just watch that hook there. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it over. Yeah, or put one hand in the belly there. Yeah, that's, that's, even that's even better. There you go. There you go. Look at that, baby. Oh, hey, yeah. lovely man. <laughs> nice fish, eh? <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Turn <laughs> the, thank you. Look at the sun on that. Trophy Northern the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Was a small mouth. Wow. Walleye. What a great way to end the trip, eh, Gord? And this is the last little cast. All right. Okay. All right. One last one last one. shot. Thank you, Doctor Pizer. All right. Make it a hook. Thank you, Wayne. Okay. There we go. Come on. Whoa. That's so nice when they're in great shape, eh? Oh, she's so strong. Look at <laughs> Back out in the 60 feet of water. Woohoo! If you're looking for a great fishing destination up in northwestern Ontario with activities for the whole family, beautiful scenery, and tons of wildlife, Sunset Country is for you. Check out the hundreds of lodges offered here on the web the next time you plan your next holiday. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. Look we at the size of that walleye! <laughs> that is a big smallmouth. She's big. Wow. Just a beauty. Of course, they make them big up here in Sunset Country. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's a nice one for sure. That is a big bike. Oh, there it goes. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, alright! <laughs> This is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. Whoa! <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah! Wow. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah!